crafty friends, it's Audra Monk, the Crafty Yogi, and welcome to the Crafty Corner. It is two o'clock Tuesday, and it's time for some yoga for crafters, but if possible, if I have stuff I'm working on, because Tuesday's my work at home day, I like to share. So I've been working on a bunch of stuff this morning, because I'm going to be out of town next week, so I'm trying to get ahead. I'm working on cards for our Just Cards class, uh, Masculine Edition. So look at this. This is that truly tailored paper. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, so a little fun with some DSP. Uh, that's retiring, so if you want it, you should order it now. And then I'm also working on, uh, we have a special pre-order of this, um, I don't know, something bundle of love bundle. Um, and so I'm gonna do a cards in the mail class. So if you order the bundle through me, using a host code, so you have to contact me first, um, I'm gonna send you, the supplies so you can make some cards. Isn't that pretty? This is an example, it's from the bundle, but I just loved it so much. So there we go. So we can talk cards, we can talk all that stuff, but let's talk about our hands. So many of us get arthritis or tendonitis or just fatigue in our hands from using them a lot. So today is all about the hands and the wrists. So just sit comfortably, however you like to sit. Um, put your hands up and then one at a time, we're gonna start pointer fingers. We're gonna dig a little hole. Yep, like you're digging a tiny hole. All right, go to your next finger, and you're gonna try to articulate that finger, one finger, by itself as much as you can. And go to the next finger, and they're not always gonna move independently, and they're not always gonna make a pretty circle. My right ring finger has no idea what it's doing. And then do the pinky. Good, so we're warming the hands up. All right, and then do the thumb. Good. All right, and then do all the fingers together. Add the wrist. Okay, add the whole arm, like you're a cheetah. I always say this one, running across the savannah, right? Add the wrists, add the arms. Good, all right, and then come back, roll your shoulders down and back. <sighs> Settle in. All right, next up, put your hands together so the palms are up and you want the pinky side next to each other, but leave a little space, open the fingers. Okay, so it's like you're at a sporting event and you're gonna do the wave. Uh, start with a thumb on either side, and you're gonna go thumb, and you're gonna try to, again, articulate the fingers individually. Go back with the other thumb. Okay, and then do that one more time, but start on your, whichever side you didn't start at. Thumb. And then open it with the other thumb. Good, all right, and then really shake them out a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna stretch them because we just moved them. So one finger at a time, you're gonna pull it down, oh, and you're gonna stretch it. I'm telling you, this is worth it. It takes a couple minutes, totally worth it. Your hands will be happier all the rest of the day. Go to the next finger. So you wanna take maybe one or two breaths per finger. Good, and the next. Oh, that feels really good. All right, and the next. All right, and then do the thumb for whichever hand you're on. Oh, that feels so good. All right, go to your next hand, start at the pinky. Good, one to two breaths here. So you can do this when you're watching TV. Um, you know, you can do it when you're just kind of hanging out, chatting, you know, with friends or family. You can do it when you're waiting somewhere, you're waiting in line at the bank or, um, you know, something like that while you're pumping gas, because I mean, if you're like me, you're not holding that thing, right? You click the little clicker, but you gotta stand there, so you could do it then. So all kinds of times. You could do it when you're not driving the car, when you're the passenger. All right, last one, do the thumb. Good. All right, let that go. Now we're gonna warm up the wrists, and then we're gonna give the wrists a big stretch. So bring your hands to prayer pose at your heart. Now lower, them the, lower than your chin to start. And then watch your fingers with your eyes. Take your fingers away. And then you're gonna roll through the hand. Good, and then let them just come comfortably wherever your shoulders tell them to go. Good, and then reverse that. Bring it towards yourself. We have one more. All right, and then we're gonna stretch it. So I'm so, so happy that people are enjoying these uh, Yoga for Crafters videos. It's really important that we take time to you know, release and stretch. Um, and if you're watching them, I would really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up or a like or a comment, just so I know that someone's watching. And if there's something you wanna see, let me know that too, okay? 
And of course, if you ever need any help with crafting stuff, let me know that. All right, one more breath here. All right, gently release and switch sides. So palm is forward, reach for the fingers, take the arm towards straight. Oh, sweet mamas. Oh, that feels so good. Yeah, because I'm on a crafting frenzy. You know when you're gonna get out of town and you gotta get ahead so that you can take care of business when you're gone. I'm gonna have a great time when I'm gone, but I wanna be ready. One more breath here. All right, let it go. Let me see, how many minutes is that? Just about five minutes. Look at that, five minutes. Oh, my hands and wrists feel good to go. I'm ready to get back to work. Uh, you should too. Let me know that you're watching. Thank you so very much and have a great day.